revelations.unveil.detroit. All praises, all praises, all praises to the heavenly, holy, almighty creator of infinity, eternity, the universe, and all there is. This is revelations.unveiled.detroit. Hello, family. We are back together again in our wonderful congregation for this wonderful convocation as we resume sitting at the knee of knowledge and wisdom for the education and edification of the holy hidden nation. All praises and to the scattered tribes of the house of Jacob around the world. Our continuous blessings of peace, safety, harmony, love, and joy as we come back into our zone of safety and comfort and family we are concluding the series of the first maccabees the greek captivity the history removed from the bible and as we now are in the last chapter we have watched from the beginnings of the greek empire with alexander the great down the line of the Ptolemies of his selected generals into the various leaderships of the Greek provinces as well as the beginnings of the infusion of the Roman influence. And so, as we encapsulate this set of 16 books, we will then begin the new series of the second Maccabees as well. All raises. And without further ado, we begin the concluding chapter of the first Maccabees series. And we begin. The book of first Maccabees, chapter 16, verse 1. Then came up John from Gazera and told Simon, his father, what Syndibius had done. Wherefore Simon called his two eldest sons, Judas and John, and said unto them, I and my brothers and my father's house have ever from my youth unto this day fought against the enemies of Israel. And things have prospered so well in our hands that we have delivered Israel oftentimes. But now I am old and you by God's mercy are a sufficient age. Be you instead of me and my brother and go and fight for our nation and the help from heaven be with you. So he chose out of the country 20,000 men of war with horsemen who went against Syndibius and rested that night at Modin. And when, as they rose in the morning and went into the plain, behold, a mighty great host, both of footmen and horsemen came against them. Howbeit, there was a water brook betwixt them. So he and his people pitched over against them. And when he saw that the people were afraid to go over the water brook, he went first over himself, and then the men seeing him pass through after him. That done, he divided his men and set the horsemen in the midst of the footmen, for the enemy's horsemen were very many. Then sounded they the holy trumpets, whereupon Syndibius and his host were put to flight, so that many of them were slain, and the remnant got them to the stronghold. At that time was Judas, John's brother, wounded, but John still followed after them until he came to Cedron, which Syndibius had built. Verse 10. So they fled unto the towers in the fields of Azotus, wherefore he burnt it with fire, so that there were slain of them about 2,000 men. Afterward, 
he returned into the land of Judea in peace. Moreover, in the plain of Jericho was Ptolemus, the son of Abubus, made captain, and he had abundance of silver and gold, for he was the high priest's son-in-law. Wherefore, his heart being lifted up, he thought to get the country to himself, and thereupon consulted deceitfully against Simon and his sons to destroy them. Now Simon was visiting the cities that were in the country and taking care for the good ordering of them, at which time he came down himself to Jericho with his sons, Mattathias and Judas, in the hundred threescore and seventeenth year, in the eleventh month, called Sabbat. Verse 15. Where the son of Abubas receiving them deceitfully into a little hold called Dacus, which he had built, made them a great banquet, howbeit he had hid men there. So when Simon and his sons had drunk largely, Ptolemy and his men rose up and took their weapons and came upon Simon into the banqueting place and slew him and his two sons and certain of his servants in which doing he committed a great treachery and recompensed evil for good then Ptolemy wrote these things and sent them to the king that he should send him and host to aid him and he would deliver him the country and the cities he sent others also to Gezira to kill John, and unto the tribunes he sent letters to come unto him, that he might give them silver and gold and rewards. And others he sent to take Jerusalem and the mountain of the temple. Now one had run afore to Gezira and told John that his father and brothers were slain, and quoth he, Ptolemy had sent to slay him also. Hereof, when he heard, he was sore astonished. So he laid hands on them that came to destroy them and slew them, for he knew that they sought to make him away. As concerning the rest of the acts of John and his wars and worthy deeds which he did, and the building of the walls which he made and his doings. Verse 24. Behold, these are written in the chronicles of his priesthood from the time he was made high priest after his father. All praises. So family, we see that brother Simon, who was the elder and priest of the nation, had turned over his charge to his sons to be the guardians, the valiant warriors of the nation of Israel. And we see the treachery of the surrounding kings and rulers to displace Brother Simon and commit murder against him and the holy priesthood so that they may once again bring war to the nation of the holy people. And now the son of Simon, John, has become the warrior and the vanguard and the priest of the holy seed. And we shall continue with the exploits of the valiant Maccabees as we continue into the second books of the saga of the Greek captivity, the history removed from the Bible. And family, until we are together again, I love you. 
I love you. I love you. This is Revelations.Unveiled.Detroit. The book of First Maccabees, chapter 16. Revelations.unveil.detroit.